Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's scroll saw project video, have a fun nautical themed project designed by Steve Good. He just uploaded this pattern not long ago, and it depicts two fish swimming in the coral out in the ocean. I think it is a nice little project. It's going to have some fragile details in it. The material calls for a quarter inch plywood, and I'm going to go on and stack cut two at a time because I know when my mom sees this one, She's going to want one for her nautical themed living room, so we're going to stack cut two at a time. But I'm only going to finish one in this video, and we're going to mount it to a base here. Probably going to route a nice decorative edge on the base here. And that is three quarter inch pine for the base. Again, this is quarter inch material. I've already got the pattern printed out and attached to the Woodwood Clear packing tape. You guys know I love nautical theming. I've got my shark shirt on here. I love the ocean, beaches salt life stuff, um, the tropical fish, the tropical colors, tikis and all that. But right now what we're going to do is head over to the drill press, drill our pilot holes so we can come back over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press using a very small bit we're going to drill all of the pilot holes for all the internal cuts. And then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. I am using number five ultra reverse shark tooth scroll saw blades and they are cutting through the shipping crate material extremely well and extremely smoothly so that's awesome it don't have a lot of chip out so that will just reduce sanding time when we get everything done again I'm stack cutting so I'm essentially cutting through a half inch of material and the blades are still doing an amazing job and cutting real smooth. If you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in the free pattern catalog. Just going through here getting all the internal cuts done. And when I get done with this one, we'll begin the final outside cut. You will see me lubricating the blade with a bar of soap to help keep the blade cool and reduce burn marks. And we're going to begin with the final long outside cut. And just take your time and let the blade do the work. And I will say with this being quarter inch material, it will be very fragile once it's released from the wood. So just be very careful with it. Just one long continuous cut and I'm letting the blade do the work. If you guys like what you're seeing here, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. Lubricating the blade one more time with soap and coming around and when we get to the bottom of the piece, you'll want to make that straight line as straight as possible because that is where it glues to the base. And cut the tab out just as the pattern has it. So you'll have a nice secure fit to the base. And here we are doing that. And then all the scroll work will be done. And over here on the workbench, just removing the two pieces from the wood. And the base is just three quarter inch pine. And for the tab, I cut that out off camera. I drew the tab on there and cut it out off camera on the scroll saw. And I'm over here on the router table and just using a Roman OG profile bit to add a nice decorative edge to the front and back of the base. And then we're heading over here to sanding. And just be very careful with it because with it being quarter inch plywood, it could break really easily. And over here on the workbench, I'm doing some detail sanding. A lot of people wanted to see me do the detail sanding and I'm just using a very fine grit sandpaper and getting all the little fuzzies off. And then once that's done, I will get some Gorilla Wood Glue and add just a little wood glue to 
the bottom of the piece and use two spring clamps to hold it in place and I let it dry around an hour or so and then I came back and removed the clamps and the project was done. And here we have the completed tropical fish silhouette. I think it turned out really great. It scrolled exceptionally well over on the scroll saw. It has some awesome detail to it with the two fish swimming in the coral or the reef. Nice 360 look and as you can tell it's quarter inch plywood. Really thin material. Very fragile. And you can also see the base here where we added the Roman OG profile over on the router table. Always adds a nice detail element to bases. All that's left to do is finish this and I will probably end up spray painting this a nice tropical color, maybe a turquoise color or a color you see a lot of at the beach to make it really eye-catching on a shelf or something. Steve Good spray painted his version that he made over on his website black because it is a silhouette project. Um, again, I'll probably just spray paint mine turquoise when I get some spray paint. Speaking of the quarter inch plywood, it is really, really fragile and you can see the pieces wiggling there. So just be very careful if you decide to make this project. It would probably also look good made out of thicker material. I have around an hour and change in this project. Of course, we scrolled everything over on the scroll saw, then we went to the router table, then we went to sanding, and then we had the glue time by gluing the piece to the base but it didn't take long to make and it is a beautiful project. One more look at it. I hope you guys like it. I hope you all have a happy and safe April. Stay safe wherever you're at considering everything that's going on in the world. That's about all for this video and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.